Drum likes to get in the lane and make a play. Out high, though, with five to shoot. Harper on him. Fade, shoots, front of the rim, Auburn ball. Inside 30. Well, I think, yeah, they got to give it. They try to tie him up. We got a timeout. Say Harper called it first. Called the timeout. Only four fouls, so they can't just go out there, hack him, and put him on the line. Auburn to inbound with a two point lead. And Virginia, the last five minutes, scoreless. And it really all kind of started when Jerome got that foul, foul, foul trouble. And of course, our colleague, Mr. Charles Barkley, all of a sudden is a little bit more interested in this outcome. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, difficulty, not, they don't foul, and it's hurting Virginia right now. And see if they do something quickly. Sue's on the catch. And Auburn, you got to get the ball to Harper. Purifoy to inbound. Looking around and Ooh. almost stolen. Doubt he's got it. They get it. Quick one on him. And that took about a second. But that's just, again, that's the fifth team foul. You got one more. They can give before the second one would put him on the line. Just out of Ooh. reach for Guy. How Ooh. about that? What a great gamble. And Jerome. This man can coach right here. He can. He can, can too. Tough. Looking Ooh. for something. Desperate times, though. His team's gone dry. Up ahead to Harper. And Clark quickly swipes at him. And again, just about a half second comes off. So we're at now six team fouls. And the next one would be the one and one. Laurel Bennett watching. At five minutes to go in this game, up 10. One thing with Harper, he is tough to control. Great footwork and speed to free himself. Auburn here, they have to come meet the pass. McElmore has it and reach in. And he's the one who will go to the line. 66% free throw shooter. Of course, always a little different coming down the stretch. Jerome back in, that's what they saved them for. Randy Pearl watching. One and one coming up. You knew coming in if uh, this game would be similar to this. Virginia just enforces their will on you. And you have to compete at that level. 17.6 seconds. And this is what they drill on screening out. One and one. Pure a fight. Not even close to touching the rim. Now, McLemore. Uh. Big push attack the rim at the other end now for Virginia. Got the second one, two for a four point lead. Two possession game here for Virginia. Got to go for two right away. They don't have a speed guy to go to the rim. Got to hurry now. Shot from the corner, goes down the one with 6.5. Pure boy to inbound. Well, they got a foul on Clark. Before the ball was entered. And it'll send the one guy they didn't want to put on the line, Harper. 83%, you're right. It was 11 for 11 from the line against Kentucky. How about this shot, though, to keep him in it? Tell you his toughest shot all night. Kyle Guy knocking down that three. And Sir Charles. <laughs> a little bit upset there with that reaction. It'll still be a one and one, just six and a half to go. He's made his last 17 during the tournament from the line. They may add some time right here, but I'm, if I'm Virginia, made or miss, maybe get the ball into Clark's hand. Let him speed the they, ball they up can the court. Do that. Uh, they, they may get a good look with him. I think they might add a few seconds here. Yeah. Auburn's also has the two to play with, two the fouls to give. So they, they really are in a commanding position. They're going to adjust it to 7.4 seconds. Best free throw shooters at the line. Even if he makes them both, Virginia should have a chance to get down court and 
try to tie it with the three. Uh, Bruce is really in good control here in terms of giving fouls, too. They're telling everybody on the floor. Front end coming. Tough kid. Oh, my goodness. It's Father Patrick. you got to be proud of this kid, the grit and toughness. And assuming he makes this Auburn, you still want to have some pressure. Obviously, don't let Virginia get the ball inbound easily. Here we go, guys. The whole season down to 7.4 for both these teams. Second one's off the mark. They're gonna give it. They're gonna give it. They have fouls to give. Yeah, one more, too. What's interesting, I would have waited a little more, I think, because Jerome's on the speed dribble. You can coax him into another couple seconds. This one, now you want to force the ball backwards. That was a very smart foul. I know what you're saying about Jerome, but definitely having fouls oh, yeah. to give. Take the momentum, but watch something down to Mamadi. A long pass. 5.4 to go. They got Jerome it. lost it for a moment. And now another foul. They had another foul to give. That other foul might have bailed out Jerome right there in that situation. No, no kidding. Absolutely. Because that was going to be just the desperate heat from just inside the midcourt stripe. And they knew Hedy play well coached, well schooled, very aware. Timeout, Virginia. And good officiating, too, knowing the situation. All right. I'm going to turn over to our, over to our coach. What are they going to do here, Bill, with I, one and a half to go? I think they, they run a little back screen and pop. Like back screen, one goes to the rim, the other guy turns, hit him, turn and shoot. I'm guessing that's what they're going to do. Yeah, I think you fake a back screen, maybe a slip, and catch that guy rolling to the basket. The dangerous guy is the inbounder, but I don't think they have enough time to give it back. Got a 6'11 man guarding the inbounds pass, and Wiley. So here we go. Jerome to inbound. Well, they got the lob. Looking, looking. It's Guy from the corner. From the win. Hold on. Hold on. Did I hear a whistle? Wow. We got a foul call. Wow. The Auburn fans thought it was over, but there was a whistle. Well, Bruce Pearl, is, he's got to be careful. He does have to be careful. I, I think he might have bumped him low. I need to see on the replay here, Bill. Yeah, oh boy. that angle's tough, but it, Brown trying to close out on Guy might have bumped him low. You have a right to come down. Yeah, too. no, it's you do have a right to shot. come down. That's Excuse me, shot. Dowdy right there with the closeout. A little too close. As, as you said, the shooter has to have the space yeah. to land. Wow. That does impact the shot. Uh, it's a killer. Let's bring in Gene Steratour. What did you see here, Gene? What we've got to look at, guys, is you look at where the defensive player left his feet. If he doesn't land in that immediate proximity, then he is jumping toward the offensive player. We call that an A to B jump. And if you look at the replay, Ten Blue leaves his feet, jumps toward the offensive player. Watch where he lands. He's le left at one spot. He's landing, moving toward his opponent. He contacts him while he's airborne. Now, what they'll do with the clock in this situation is they will go to when the contact occurred, and that's the time that they will put back on the clock. Yeah, they've already adjusted it. Good point, Gene, to point six. But Guy will be at the line for three. The former Mr. Indiana basketball. The former, a year ago, ACC tournament MVP. The first team all ACC player who hit a three to keep him in the game just seconds ago. A desperation shot from the other corner. Wow. I'll tell you, if you're Virginia, this is the guy you want on the line. Your first team all ACC player. 81%. He's tied it. Wow, this is unbelievable. Using the timeout. <laughs> Make him think a little bit. Wow. What a finish. Unbelievable ending. How do you stand up and make those free throws? Wow. With everything on the line. He's got one more coming after this break. All kinds of things to set up here. One more free throw coming for Kyle Guy. And then Auburn's going to try to do something with .6 seconds to go. Tigers having 
just taken their last time out. Bruce Pearl was beside himself on that call. And now trying to look ahead here. Figure out something his team can do. Conversely for Virginia, make or miss in this situation, get no foul whatsoever. You don't want to put Auburn on the free throw line. Kyle Guy is so capable. Stepping up here, big shots. For the lead. He got all three. Agents. Now you got it. Here we go. Point six seconds. And nobody, nobody on the inbounder. Durafoy's going to go to the other side. He's got Brown all the way in the far court. Might as well heave it all the way the distance. A Grant Hill pass. Here it is. Brown turns around. It's off the mark. And Virginia is heading to its first ever national championship game appearance. With five points in the last eight seconds.